again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery in the backyard and it's about 90 degrees, but it doesn't keep me from wanting to play and this is an edge catcher, kind of cool. Uh, came from the protective layer on the front of 16 by 20 inch canvases from Michaels. This is a 10 by 20 inch canvas that I think I'm going to move out of here while I create some colors in a couple of ways. Make sure there's no sand or anything. I've had a problem, evidently the wind blew around a, th a few things. Wow, that was different. Um, I'm going to try to change up what I do, like in the extreme. That's probably already too much color. But, um, so I'm going to mix up color and I'm going to use it on the top and the bottom in this landscape-esque scenario. And I'm going to try and put my colors away. I guess if I have color left, it won't make any difference because I can always use it on something else. I don't want to do that again. I want to layer my colors kind of nicely because purple and orange will often create brown and we don't really want brown. But um, I am looking for really outrageous and weird and colorful and fun. And all my colors are uh, shaken. They have mixtures in them of deco art pouring medium and Floetrol. I start with GAC 800 by Golden to keep my paint from cracking. And I want my land mass, I want to scoop it up out of there. Oh, I didn't put any of that in there. Cool. I've been looking to use some of that. Let's see if I can get some of these things out of my way. Did I use any of this? Maybe not. All right. So now I've got all the colors in there, I think. <laughs> yeah, like that's going to happen. That I think are going to be what I want. All right. I got a thing in there that needs to come out. Come out, come out now. Wow, okay. That was really, really, really a long thing. Check out that thing, that's a Floetrol worm. Holy, <laughs> wow. And I am going to try and not do conventional colors or not do, not put them down in a conventional way. I'm just gonna agitate the colors by putting them in with some force. And all that blue is probably going to look like water, like it usually does. Oh, I don't know if I want any of that. You know what? I don't mind. All right, so what do I want with that? I always, always love to have my purple in there. And I've been enjoying some metallic green. So my island will probably look like water, but... Okay, sera, sera. I want some darker green than this, and I had it earlier, and I don't know what I've done with it. There it is. This is Prussian blue. We could have the same thing happen with this. There we go, I'll take it. I want some gold in there also. I expect to shovel that, but you never know with me, I could pour it pretty easily. All right, most of that's away and I want to squeeze some copper in there because I've been loving copper a lot lately and I've got some other colors here. These are my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. They are available on the Amazon link under Show More, underneath the video. I like adding colors from prior paintings and artworks because they're already mixed and they add a different sort of texture to things and that's kind of cool. All right, that's shallow enough so it won't spill. Hopefully, knock on wood, wear some wood. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put it down and hope that it stays. And whatever I need, I've got handy. What I don't need are things under my bottles, but here comes the 10 by 20 inch canvas, and there is my edge catcher, and this is going to be really weird, because, first of all, I left that Floetrol worm someplace it doesn't belong, and it needs to go away right now before I stick my hand in it again. All right, I've got a dog that wants to go in the house, and so if you hear him crying, just know I'm not torturing him. Um, where's my shovel? There it is. All right, so... I'm going to do shovel, whoops, right over the tile, shovel, shovel, not dying doggy, shovel, and scrape. 
this might not work at all, but it could turn into something really cool anyway. I hope he lets the dog in soon. <laughs> Alright, shovel in the bucket. I have other shovels if I need one. Not dying doggy. We'll get in the house. Got 11 minutes left on my timer before that dog gets any of my attention. I'm sorry. But uh, he's in the shade and he has water. He's all good. So I emptied both of my containers and <laughs> I'm kind of trying not to be too distracted by troubled dog and take my OXO omelet turning spatula. It's now got green on it. And find another shovel. Where? Right there. I'm going to just wipe off the bottom. Try and change things up a little bit. I really want to change them up quite a bit, actually. And so I'm going to be sacrilegious. And I realize I put no gold in there. This is going to be a lot of paint, and I might need a bigger edge catcher right down the line here. That's really not it. <laughs> I've got a, I know there's one over here. Hang on a second. There we go. Much better. So here goes the nothing. Put your, I'm a lot nervous today. I don't know why. I've never done anything quite like this before. This is a bizarre process. I'm doing top and bottom at the same time. And I have wanted to do this, I realize now, for a while. And do I want to stick my finger in there? I really don't. So what will I do instead? I will stick my finger in there anyway. And it's cool because I can use the edge catcher at the same exact place if I want to. It's going to leave me in a position where I'm going to have to decide what goes to the bottom and the top when I let things run back. This might work. I'm going to rock my edge catcher so I cover my sides. I am going to contemplate on whether I want to do anything. You know what? I'm going to use my paint, my beautiful paint, in my shovel and fill some spots with something that's a better tool than that skewer. Okay, so that's kind of cool. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I know it sounds really arrogant to say so, but oh well. Um, sometimes I get lucky. Frequently, in fact. <laughs> that's neat. I like that a lot. Did I leave myself any other colors? No, of course I didn't. So what I'm going to do that's a color shift. And that's a piece of schmutz. Come back here, schmutz. Ouch, come. All right. Well, I say all right. <laughs> and then I hope that I can continue the trend of things working out. I really want to take this paint here off my edge catcher. And this paint here. I really still expect to be able to tip this. That's a kind of a muddy combination, but I do expect to tip it. I am going to use all of the paint on my edge catcher and put it right in there. If it'll come off. I guess I'm not going to mind if I get some strange texture. It's par for the course in reality. All right, it looks as though I did not rock my edge catcher on this other end, which is too bad, but also part of the course at this point. So that's not the edge catcher I want. I want one that's longer. And I'm kind of glad that I don't have paint all the way on the other side, because that way I can tilt. I'm going to have a mountain and push it back. Boy, I hope this works. It's, it's got a pretty cool start to it. I don't want that 
that big green I'm watching where my pattern's going. I'm going to use the paint. I'm going to wipe off my spatula and use the paint that I have to fill in the top and hope that it's not too brown and know that I probably have another tilt in me, but at least the top edge is covered and that edge is covered too. And it still looks kind of cool, and I have just enough paint to come over here. Wicked neat. I think that's, okay, that green thing is <laughs> definitely not what I had in mind. But, I'm not done till I'm done. And I can do something over there. I know I can do something over there. I don't know about the green in the sky, but I can definitely calm that down a little bit so it's not quite as pointy. Pointy is a good word. Alright, so I took most of my paint off the bottom. Or what's the top? Off the edge catcher. Yeah. I mentioned that it was like 90 degrees out here, maybe. So everything that went up is now coming down. I'm going to flow that down that way because I know that I need it cover the bottom. I'm going to rock the edge catcher this time to make sure it's covered. And anything that's not covered, wow, this is going to be different, huh? It is what it is, and it's pretty cool. It's definitely an experiment I'm happy to have made. Same colors, top and bottom. Applied with a shovel. That is the most surreal landscape I have ever done. So, there. I've got quite the little green mountain pink over here. I <laughs> don't know what to do with that. Uh, that's what I get for saying it worked out exactly like I wanted it to. I do want to, if I, I could tip that way, but the cells that are over there are amazing. But it makes me think that I can maybe make some more, oh, I love that purple in there. What do I do now? Ha, huh, you can't tell me. I can do that. I could probably add some more paint if I wanted to. Or I could fool the eye. And I bet we get some cells popping. Where is my Prussian blue and will it actually come out? I think not. I don't even, <laughs> I don't have a skewer with a point left on it that I can stick in there right now. Whoa, there I go. I got it. Cool. Just a little, just a little alteration. A few. <laughs> she says a little. Like in, maybe not. <laughs> All right, it's not like anything else, but I like it a lot, and it's kind of what I was hoping for in a lot of ways. And I do see that thing right there that needs to be adjusted. Let's put that paint over there. I've been using my breath to change things a little lately. I'm not beyond doing it again. It can expose all kinds of interesting things. So I should tell you guys, if you shop my Amazon link, you help me out at no added cost to you. And if you give me a thumbs up, it helps the YouTube algorithm know where to place me, although it hasn't been working lately. So uh, I still want to say thank you to all my subscribers. And I appreciate all the thumbs up you guys give me all the time. I want to take a chance here. blow down into my mountain range and see what I can uncover. I have a very, uh, very interesting 
configuration of, what's a good word, <laughs> land with uh, strange shapes. Might as, well, might as well add a few more strange shapes so they all look like they're from the same place. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool anyway. Wipe my skewer off before I go playing in there. Maybe one more tilt. Boy, I'm taking a big chance. I like what I've got in so many aspects. I got 50 seconds, so I'm going to be able to tell you guys whatever I want to tell you in a moment. I want my paint to go back up there. Alright, I'm going to torch before that timer goes off, and it will go off in 32 seconds or so. We torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. We torch to maybe pop some cells and create some patterns, the pouring mediums that are in everything. The mixtures often will create cells, the flow troll and the deco art pouring medium for me especially work very nicely. I keep wanting to look at this the other way around, so I understand how you guys feel when you're looking at this the way I show it to you. And there are just these little anomalous, there we go, anomalous shapes. I do sell my artwork, so if you want to get in touch with me, look for the email address directly under the video. Um, on the Amazon link, you're going to find mica powders and my OXO omelet turning spatula and my Princeton art tool catalyst spatulas. They're not mine. They're <laughs> they belong to other people, but um, everybody who's got them so far is pretty happy that they have made that investment. It's not a huge investment, but it, it works out quite nicely. Um, I have a book called Because I Can. It's the first hundred videos. I'm supposed to be editing the sec second volume now, and maybe it'll come out by Christmas if I'm lucky. Uh, and I get busy because I really have like 85 entries left to do. And yeah, and I'm playing. Well, that's the way up I'm going to let that be. So I'm going to let that little piece of blue sky down and keep torching. And say thank you for all the uh, contributions that have kept me painting in the past so far. There should be a contest on the end screens, assuming I'm still running one. I had like 15 people last month in my contest. It wasn't really a great contest. So I'm going to try and pick a painting that you guys like more that might be worth trying. You know what? That's really bugging me, that thing in there. That solid orange lump, which will be a color shift, but I don't think I care. I just want something else there. There. It is not any kind of realistic landscape whatsoever. I said I sell my art, or if I didn't, I am. Uh, if you have questions for me, feel free to ask me. When I have time, I get around to you it's quite often. Um, if you give me a thumbs up, it helps the YouTube algorithm help me by placing my videos in places where more people can see them. And uh, I might have a shot at making a living. I hear the timer. I got one minute left. I do have some naked canvas on one end where I obviously was holding on to it. Otherwise, I got some really neat things going on here and I like them. It's the most pretend landscape of all. And I might try it on a larger canvas to see how that works. I love you guys. It's very close to 79,000 of you. I'm like 100 away right now as I speak to you today. I'm going to look for little pieces of naked canvas and hopefully after that I'll be moving all my stuff in the house for the class I have tomorrow and we'll have a ball. So I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill and I want to say, what else do I want to say? I want to say Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, um, and the paint pouring recipe are all under the video if you check it out. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery saying I did not take good advantage of my time this time and you guys probably didn't hear everything. But I love you, and I'll see you soon, hopefully in another video. Check the end screens for uh, 750 plus videos. I'm going to be looking for little bits of canvas, and then I'm done. All right, now, I love you guys. I said that already. I'll see you soon. Watch some videos. Binge, maybe. Bye for now. Priscilla out.